Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 15th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. In the last video we introduced the board builder and <clears throat> when I left off, where I left off was that we were going to have a method called create standard board that was going to help us to build the initial board for a chess game which is this board right here and I've already copied into my copy buffer the implementation of this method and to save time I'm gonna paste it here now and explain it so right so let's walk through this uh, let's first address these compiler errors as they're sort of annoying all it's saying is that these the constructors for these uh, well let's see let's see let's fix that was the import let's do the import for all of these right so we're importing the class right now what it's complaining about is that these constructors can't be access, accessed from outside of their package which just means that I forgot to mark them as public so let's see if we can make rook public let's see that does that and now it's complaining that piece position and piece alliance oh right I got these uh, backwards so let's change the order let's go in here let's change the order to alliance and piece position I just got the order of the parameters backwards and uh, right that's gonna be true for all of these oh that's annoying right let's see if we can get the IDE to help us here Okay, let's see if I can do this really quickly. Make all of these public first. And right. Okay, and so now it's complaining in all of these that I had gotten the order backwards here. So that should fix that. Let's go in here and clean that up. Um, what's this one complaining about? Oh, I forgot the comma. Okay. We're almost there, guys. I apologize. So, let's... Notice I haven't marked these final. I'll come back and do that in a cleanup. Two more. It's a bit annoying, but no big deal. King and the last one, pawn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, um, and notice, you know, I don't know if you want to go ahead and clean these up. I, for some of them, I didn't mark them final. Let's see, which one was it? Bishop? Was it just Bishop? Yeah. Final for the args. And <clears throat> so now let's walk through this. In this method, we create a board builder in a local variable. And we say builder.setPiece and we go through and we set um, 
you know, we create a black rook on tile ID 0. So let's look at here what that would mean is tile ID 0. We have a black rook. Yep, that matches. And um, then next to the rook on tile ID 1, we have a knight. Yep, that matches. So you get the idea. Here there's going to be a black bishop on 2, and then a queen, and then a king, etc., all the way down. And, you know, um, wherever we don't set a piece, uh, we're going, when we call, when we use this builder, right? Where did we use this builder? We use this builder right here in Create Game Board. When we call builder.getconfig of get i, right, get the piece on that tile ID, if there's no piece associated with it, it's just going to come back with null. And this factory method is going to come in and it's going to go, oh, if the piece is not null, create an occupy tile, otherwise create an empty tile that we retrieve from the empty tile cache, right? So that should make sense. Now let's see what else can we do here. Um, right, this method right here, we can now implement get tile. All we need to say is return gameboard.get of the tile coordinate. Great. Um, what should we work on next? So the only sort of state that I'm capturing right now are the tiles. Um, but I also want to capture the white pieces and the black pieces on the board. I want to keep track of that on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and declare some um, number fields, private final collection of piece, white pieces, and private final collection of piece, black pieces. Okay, let's fix that. Now it's complaining because we haven't set these. So let's say this dot white pieces is equal to, and we're going to introduce a new method, calculate active pieces and we're going to say we're going to say for this game board calculate the white pieces and reuse this method to calculate this game board's black pieces okay so now all we need to do is introduce this method, right? And let's look to see what that's going to look like. It's going to be a private static method that returns a collection of pieces and it's going to take in the tiles and it's going to take in the alliance to calculate and Let's declare a list of pieces, active pieces is equal to new array list. And let's simply for final tile, tile in the game board that we pass in. If the tile is occupied and let's get its piece final piece piece is equal to tile dot get piece and if the pieces alliance is equal to the alliance that we pass in oops I re I named this white but it should really be the alliance that's passed in if it's equal to the alliance that was passed in, then we want to add to our active pieces that pass that piece. And after the for loop, we're just going to say return immutable list dot copy of active pieces. Right. So now, now we have a way of tracking the white's active pieces and the black's active pieces on our board. And right, so I think I'm going to 
I think I'm, I will break here. Uh, We're getting pretty far into the builder of the board class. Um, let's see, is there any other cleanup that we want to do right now? I have an error on my pawn. Let's see what the error is. What is this complaining about? Oh, I just have an extra comma there. Okay, so let's fix that. Um, yeah, let's let's stop here. So <clears throat> in the next video, what we'll do is we will um, do the legal move calculation on a board, which should be really easy because it's just going to delegate to each piece. And then we'll um, introduce a nice uh, two-string method to print a board out, and we could look. We can then look at boards that we create. Okay. Thank you.